Hello and welcome to the Smash Interactive Whiteboard tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how one may use the board and the material in their classroom. As you can see, we're on the contents page of Smash. Uh, to the left, we have all the units and review sections of the book. By clicking on any of these units, you are directed to the first spread of the unit selected. I'll go back to the contents page now using the home button. Uh, as you can see, we also have tabs on the right-hand side of the board. These help you navigate through the material. So we have the exit button, which causes you to exit the program completely. We have the home button, which is actually the contents page. We have the help button, which provides brief explanations on all the tabs and buttons you need to use to navigate to the unit and make the material work. These two are particularly important because you'll be using them often. Here we have a play and pause button, which uh, links into the audio of the course, so you don't have to use your CD-ROM player, you can play everything off the board. Throughout the book you'll also see flags uh, and these flags indicate that the activity has been made active so by clicking on it a pop-up window will appear with the activity inside. To exit this I'll just press close. The bottom tab is the next button which allows you to move forward and on to the next spread of the book. And of course, once you do that, we've also provided a back button which allows you to move backwards. Okay, so I'll go back to the content page by pressing Home. And to demonstrate how you might use uh, the material in class, I'll use Unit 4 as an example. So I'll press on Unit 4 in the contents page, and we're in Unit 4 now. Remember, once I'm in the unit, I can use the features of the software package or I can use the tools that come with the whiteboard that you're using. In this case, we're using a smart board. I'm going to call up the tools and select the curtain. I'm doing this because I want to draw my students' attention to a particular point on the page. So I'll draw this down and leave it here. At this point, I'm drawing their attention to the word Scotland, and this introduces the theme of the unit. So I'm, I may also ask them questions about Scotland and what they might know of it. After you've drawn their attention to the theme of the unit, you might also want to ask them questions about Scotland and see what they know and test their knowledge or they can make assumptions. I'm going to pull the screen down a bit more to reveal the audio. And by pressing the play button, we'll hear the audio. Unit 4, Lesson 1, page 34, The Loch Ness Monster, reading, listen and read. I've got an idea. Oh no, not another one. The Loch Ness Monster comes from Scotland. Shall we go? No, I don't like Scotland. It's boring. The weather is terrible. It rains all the time. They eat haggis in Scotland. Time and space machine, we want to go to Scotland. Remember, I can pause the audio anytime I like by pressing the pause button on the screen. Uh, I've paused it at this particular point because I want to draw my students' attention to the questions, the comprehensive questions on the other side of the page. By doing so, I can use my pen or my marker and circle the section of the book I want to draw their attention to. After this, we can work on the questions. I'm going to exit the screen. and return back to the full spread. After students have completed the second reading comprehension exercise in their books, you can
can call upon this activity and check their answers. Remember, while they're doing this, they have their books in front of them so they can look at the pictures as the class participates. So for one, there's a lot of rubbish. And to find the answer, we use the drop-down menu and select one from the list. You can, actually, you can have students call out the answer, or you can call the student to the board and have them select uh, an answer themselves. If they choose the wrong answer, an X appears. If they choose the right answer, it's placed on the gap. This. The, the next activity on the spread is a vocabulary activity, which I can call on by clicking on it. Here students need to write the opposites of the following words. We can complete this exercise uh, in different ways. We can ask students to call out the right answers, and we can write them in, so the opposite of small is big, or we can ask a student to come up to the classroom and they can write them in themselves. I'm going to close the transparency to get rid of the ink. Another way we can use this is using the software. So the students can complete the exercises in their books and we can have them call out the answers. By clicking on the dash, the right answers appear. This way students can check their answers as we go along. Next we have the grammar boxes. All grammar boxes throughout the book are made active for better presentation. So we'll click on this. And here we have the grammar boxes magnified for students to look at. There are different ways you can use the grammar box in the classroom. You can also use the smart board tools to draw their attention to certain structures. I'm going to use the magic pen. And move it. the box I want to draw their attention to. Once I've drawn their attention to the grammar structures, I can also use the pen in the tray to provide further practice on, on the structures taught. Here we're learning the present simple affirmative. I'll take my pen and blank out the endings of the verbs. and ask a student to either come up and write in the ending themselves or call them out. So for lives, we'll add an S. For go, we'll add an ES. And for carries, we'll add I, E, S. To exit the spotlight, press exit, and we're back on our page. I'm going to press next to move on to the next spread and call up a listening activity and demonstrate how one may use that. We've called up a listening activity. Uh, the activity is about Ewan McGregor and provides personal information about himself and his career. You can press the play button to have the audio come up and students can complete the exercise in their books. Unit 4, Lesson 2, page 37. Listening. Listen to the radio program about this famous actor and complete the information in the fact file. After students have completed their the activity, you can call upon them to call the answers out, and you can press on the dash, and the answers will appear. This way they can check what 
they can check their work and see that what they've put is correct or corrected. Otherwise, you may ask students to come up to the board and they can write the answers in themselves using the marker on your tray. This brings us to the end of our brief tutorial on the Smash Interactive Whiteboard material. Good luck with your teaching.